So, not that long ago, I was just talking about bringing High School DxD Season 4 back from the, the brink of missing this. And apparently, it did. What's up everyone, Brandon JW23 back again for another one. And we're talking about High School DxD. Yes. Actually, we can do, well, two things really, because it's actually funny. Because, um... I thought about my um, my yeah, high school like my high school academia yeah my high school academia season three is out right now you go ahead and check that at VRV or Crunchyroll uh, now by the way I'm not sponsored with them I'm not affiliated but just go you know watch that after this video but watch that though because that's freaking amazing. And I'm loving it so far, even though I just had one episode, but there's more coming out. So we probably see a new episode next week. So, or not next week, tomorrow. We will see it tomorrow. A brand new episode of that. But that's not the video I'm talking about. This is not what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. And we're talking about my high, uh, not my high school, dang, high school DxD. Hero. That's right. That's the name of the title. High School DxD Hero, and a lot of people kind of forgot about High School DxD because we got High School DxD Original, New, and Born, and Born was the last one, and then we waited and lost for, what, uh, three years, four years, since 2015, since 2017, 18, I mean, yeah, four years if you count at the end of the episode of season three, but technically three years because it stopped and then it finally came back up. And it's bloody amazing that it finally came back up and we finally got a brand new season of High School DxD. But, like always, there got to be some downsides and some negative outlashes for it. Don't get me wrong, I love the show, I love the series, it's back, and I'm finally happy that the show is finally back. But I'm not happy because the art style is totally different. It's not the same. What I mean. Brandon, what do you mean by that? Well, this is what I mean about it. If you are a fan of school, high school DxD, you got season one all the way up to season four. And you watch, I mean, season one all the way up to season three, I mean. And you watch every single last episode and went back and we watched the last episode, all the episodes, and recap because you heard about the new season coming out and everything like that. And you got so hyped, so empathetic, so oompa, oompa, yeah. You got super hyped. You, you hit the dab on the ass. But then all of a sudden you see the first episode, the first five seconds, the first 15 minutes of the show. And you like, what the living hell did it did to my show? Hey, fangirls, fangirls of life, I know. You want to see them big old titty bitties and having everything going on. Some guys and some females who just watch the show because it got nipples and boobs, but that's beside the point. But I watch it, and some of the other people watch it for the storyline. It's pretty cool. But it seems like time it's pretty not cool because, see, when Hero came out, and I finally seen it last Saturday, and it, no, was it Saturday or Sunday? I think it was Monday. I seen it sometime early this week. I didn't know about it. It supposed to come out. You know, this year I heard about it supposed to come out soon, but when do not know. But beside the point. But back to what I'm saying. So I watched, I watched the last what seven, three episodes, four episodes of season three. I'm like, okay, yes, like my shit. I love my show. This is awesome. I can't wait, man. I can't wait. I have a feeling it will come out sometime during the spring. And guess what happened? It came out during the spring. I'm like, yes. Well, the last episode, episode 12 from High School DxD, born, yeah, born, last episode of that, and it went, hey, brand new, right there on VRV, hey, High School DxD, new, I mean, high, high School DxD, hero, brand new, I'm like, oh, yes, gotta watch it, I went to watch it, and the art style itself is like, what the fuck, 
They're like, what the fuck, man? The art style is like the newest, the new thing of Dragon Ball Super. You know how in the ending of Dragon Ball Super, whoever seen or did not see Dragon Ball Super, spoiler warning, ahead of time, if you don't want to hear it, um, skip ahead, I guess. Um, if you do, hey, I'm giving you ahead of time, man, spoiler, uh, spoiler alert, there you go. So, boom, hands up, I plead the fifth, I give you spoiler alert, I'm going to continue with the video. Um... So at the end of of of, of, uh, of of Dragon Ball Super, it was more fast action pace, and we all know that. And and the drawing and all style kind of developed and changed from the very first episode of Dragon Ball Super to well to the ending, and now going to the new generation art style of the new Dragon Ball Super. And my phone better not text off right now. Excuse me, boss. It takes off right now. Go ahead and uh, stop that right there. Okay, shut up, iPhone. Anyway, like I was saying, um, with the new art style, you draw it up quick, easy, fast. Don't get me wrong, it, it, I, I like it a little bit in certain shows, like the new Dragon Ball Super movie. That would be dope to see it um, and something like that in that nature. But in a sh action show slash story based slash Romance and comedy like high school DXD. It don't. It's like Teen Titans, okay? It's like Teen Titans and Teen Titans Go. We got Teen Titans, all serious, legit, and it's, gloom, it's a little gloomy, a little dark, but you got the comedy bit going on in there. Everything great. But Teen Titans Go, you got no serious acting, no dark, gloomy area. It's all. blah. If you kind of see what I'm saying. It's more bright and colorful and cheerful and nobody take nothing seriously. And it's like, what the hell? So, ah. So, DXD new, well, DXD hero, it got that, it got Teen Titans Go art style, but a little bit different because it's more new, up-to-date, new age anime art style. And, it, and it's, uh, it's kind of, Okay, I'm not gonna lie. The first episode of High School DxD Hero, it, it's 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 stunk. Okay, I liked it because it shows off the original episode from episode, uh, the first season, like first part of season one, episode one, and then the last couple of episodes of season three, episode six, seven, and eight, right before. Uh, the uh, the Rias, uh Grimmery became the new Red Dragon for what uh, a minute and a half for for some of the phone anyway for some of the uh, of the show. So they so pretty much episode one is just that a little bit of season one of High School DxD and then the six seven eight of High School DxD born, and then to my around at the ending of High School DxD season three, episode twelve, the Boob Dragon song is played in the background on season three, right? No, in season four, it's actually showing off in the monitor while Issei is in his berserk state. So apparently, we didn't even get past the certain area that we were supposed to pick up from season three, but we dialed it back, dialed it back towards episode eight of when Issei was in his uh, bizarre state. So where are we going to go from now? Do not know. We got to find out next time. Hopefully this Saturday. Hopefully this Sunday. I don't know when the new High School DxD show post, uh, episode supposed to come back out. I will make sure I uh, tweet it or Instagram or something like that. I don't know. Or just make another up to, uh, update video for it. Until then, guys, tell me what you think. 
Do you like the new High School DxD Hero or do you don't like the High School DxD Hero because of the art style, because how it goes, how it's the storyline, how everything kind of dialed back towards the middle of Season 3? Tell me your thoughts down in the description. No. Fuck. Down into the comments down below. Until then, guys. Hot. Adios. I thought I said hallelujah for some reason. Adios. See you later. And... That's a good one, okay? Be safe. See ya.